nine minute thing in life you can be sure except rain comes from the clouds the sun lights up the sky and hummingbirds do fly winter turns to spring a wounded heart will heal but never much too soon nothing and no one goes a change. There are not many things in life that we can be sure of. Oh. Good morning, good afternoon, family. And I really mean that because this is one of the most craziest stories that I've come across in a minute besides Elon Musk and his cyborgs uh, killing people, malfunctioning at plants and stuff or damaging and, and injuring them and very little news is being printed about it but let's talk about this there's an article that came out in the daily mail it said uh that elon musk he got the first chip that he is Neuralink's brain chip okay he got a, a chip that he's that inserted into people damn brain now i want to know what y'all think about this because to me this is the first, this, this has got to be, especially for indigenous people, this should be your wake-up call or who you are sharing the earth with, okay? Because I don't understand what the purpose is for this right here. So now, this is what they say. The good parts about this is they said that, um, the Neuralink is intended to allow paralyzed people to control movement by thought. But the implications left some terrified with the tech. Um, being accused of mind control, creating cyborgs, and even playing God. And I kind of agree with that, y'all. Uh, you, you putting people's chip chips in the brain? Tater chips? This, this, this is insane. Anyway, Elon Musk has left even his most ardent fans terrified after he revealed his tech startup, Neuralink, has become the first to successfully implant a microchip in the human brain. The world's richest man said the operation took place on Sunday and the initial results show promising neuron, neuron spike detection. The device called a telepathy will enable control of your phone or computer and through them almost any device <laughs> just by thinking. <laughs> oh my God, Lord Jesus. Lord. See, this is the kind of shit that make me afraid to even go to the doctor. I'm just, you know. What? They didn't already said we'll be back into physical slavery by the year 2050. I don't think I'll still be on the planet by then, but I aim to be. And if I am, I sure don't want to be under some kind of mind control or I would rather not be here. If I have to have my mind controlled by a chip to do what, you know, certain entities or the dominant society want me to do or participate in, I'd rather not. I mean, I really would. 
Many of his 170 million followers on X, formerly Twitter, accused him of mind control uh, and even playing God. Again, the negative potential of this makes me very uneasy, one person wrote. Are y'all old, really? Does it? Does it? I'm terrified by the thought of it, added another. Musk said that he hopes it will allow users with disabilities like Stephen Hawking to communicate faster than an auctioneer. Initial users will be those who have lost the use of their limbs. So imagine if Stephen Hawking could, re could communicate faster than the speed of a typist or an auctioneer. That is the goal. The company aims to implant microchips in the, into the brains of paralyzed people so far and allow them to move their bodies using their thoughts. I think the real issue here is that even though your thoughts won't be safe, <laughs> if they can decode your thoughts for this, how long until the FBI gets a search warrant for your thought crime? What if someone else starts controlling you and you can easily understand whom I am referring to? <laughs> Added Sagar Padley, and that's scary. Any technolo technological advance has to be based on bioethical principles. Otherwise, playing God always ends badly, wrote P. Manuel uh, Gungora. But others were more positive. Ooh, well done, Neuralink. Sign me up. Yeah, y'all some crazy. Mm. This might turn out very well, and it can be a very important moment in history. This is awesome news. We're expanding in two final frontiers, space and the mind. I can't wait for the next company to talk. I'm so excited. Neuralink announced in September that it would soon commence a trial in humans to evaluate the safety of this implant. Wow. It comes less than a year after the Neuralink got Food and Drug Administration clearance to operate on humans, a critical milestone for the startup. Musk wrote on X on Monday night, from the first human received an implant from Neuralink yesterday and is recovering well. Initial results show promising neuron spikes in detection. Somebody independent of this group should be following this test tube baby around. Because this is insane to me. And maybe it's me. Because I'm old school. I, I, I'm old school. I, I look at some of these young people right now. And, you know, because I'm a forever young sign, mentally, um, when I look at what's happening, of course, I know I'm not a, a part of this. I I love bridging the gap between myself and young people. But this right here, this is the worst thing I've ever, I've ever heard of as far as I'm concerned. And it doesn't make me excited. It makes me terrified for humanity. Wow. Vance explained that it will take a couple of hours for a surgeon to perform a craniotectomy and a further 25 minutes for the chip to be inserted by a robot into the area of the brain which controls the hands, the wrist, and the forearms. Damn. The goal, of course, um, that the device can be safely, uh, can be inserted sa safely and it can collect useful data from that part of the patient's brain. A key step in Neuralink's efforts to convert a person's thoughts into a range of commands a computer can understand. Wow. What y'all think about this? I, I mean, I got to know. I, I want to know what you think about it. Because as far as I'm concerned, this wow. This is wow. 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 Okay, let me know what you think. Like what you hear? 
subscribe and share the channel and i'll see you in the next video